That was pretty cruel, wasn't it, Mark? So close. Yeah, look, uh, let's take nothing away from Leeds. Um, you know, excellent victory for them. They've, they've, they've beaten a number of sides here uh, this this season, and I also saw them beat um, London Irish last week. I went to watch that game. So let's take nothing away from them. Um, you know, they, they battled for that victory. Having said that, you know, we scored the only try of the game, and we had a number of chances to win that game. Mr. Number kicks a goal. Probably got a bit frantic towards the end, and um, probably could have done my skipper really just to sort of uh, help us uh, navigate ourselves through that last sort of five ten minute period in particular. Uh, I thought we put ourselves in a good position to win the game uh, with ten minutes to go, uh, but unfortunately we didn't nail that down. I guess that's been the story of our season really. We've I think we've conceded uh, less tries than, than Leeds, for example, and we scored more tries than Leeds in the game we scored. You know, the only try of the game, but we haven't closed off those tight games in first the leads they have. Um, so again, was another example of that. Again, the effort was there for my players, the spirit was there for my players to come back the way they were, the, the way they did. Um, just some of our accuracy at times, and um, the fact that we gave away too many penalties probably in the first half. Although I got to say that I think uh, you know it's one or two of those that you know you look back on and say, well, they could have gone either way as well. It's easy to say in hindsight, Mike, but the, the penalty you were given, say six or seven yards into your own half there, a few minutes from the end, was that sort of touch and go about whether to have a go there? Does he have the range normally to get those? Uh, well, look, what you want is your kicker to come up and say, I want this, I fancy you know, the chance of doing this, I can nail this down. And, and I think that's what anybody wants to see from a kicker. And that's the call he made. If, he, if it had gone over, he's the hero. Uh, if it doesn't go over, then obviously people say, well, it's a bad decision. But he had the call for us to do it. and. Um, you know, and uh, ultimately we couldn't, um, you know, couldn't sit by as well and watch those last couple of minutes go down without attempting something that might win us the game. So, you know, you know, I'm not going to sort of blame him on that. What was said in the in the huddle at the end when you were uh, on the pitch? Uh, um, obviously, it's a very emotional time for all of us. Um, I've been involved in a number of seasons now and a number of teams, and. Um, uh, I can't fault for one second the attitude and the commitment the guys I play with, and I think we said we said that. You know, sometimes the battle is as much about the one with yourself as it is with with results and promotion and relegation and where you end up. And um, you know, I, I think the guys went out there as they have done on nearly every occasion this uh, this year, and they've got the best out of themselves. And, and, and we have come short for whatever reason, but it isn't through want through, through want of trying and, and through effort and. Um, you know, so in terms of the type of people they are, then they can be proud because uh, you know you, you saw it for yourselves out there. You know they spent they spent giving everything, and uh, you know if you don't give everything and you come short, it's entirely different. But I don't think you can cast that accusation at any single one of them. Do you look back? The line out really, the line out really hurt you today. Um, yeah, were you tempted to bring guineas on a fair bit earlier than that? Uh, yeah, it did hurt us today. But if it's again, you got to give these credit. They uh, mm. they defended out very well. Um, you know, well, if you look back at the sale game, for example, our line went particularly well. We stole a couple of these, great played, but we lacked um, sort of a blend in our team to carry the ball enough. Um, we had 60% of the possession that day, so you know we looked at our blend ever since, and we decided to go for people who carry the ball a little bit more. So, you know, <laughs> in answer to your question, uh, you know, we tried a couple of different combinations to try and get that winning formula. Um, Again, you you look back on on the season in, in a lot of ways. I think we've been, you know, there about about sort of more occasions than we've been, um, you know, for a number of previous years. Uh, as I say, I think 60 percent of our games that we've not won, um, we've been within seven points of the opposition. And today was another example of that. You know, we go back to Saracens. You know, uh, away at Wembley, you see the form Saracens are in. We got there, we scored two tries to win, and give away a lot of penalties. So. You know, that's been our season really. The effort, the commitment has been there, the ability to, to go toe to toe with the teams, but just not nailed down the victories for whatever reason. That's something we, uh, we'll have an end of season debrief about. But, you know, in terms of the effort, commitment, uh, you saw it there again today. And, um, you know, as I say, it's particularly disappointing we scored the only try of the game and again you look back on the Saracens game and you should see that we have scored the opposition in games like that and, and still lost so we'll have to just reflect on that but uh, you know it is very disappointing for the club um, and for everyone involved. Uh, you're, Pat you're very uh, 
public with your, your passion for Worcester Warriors. Can you put into words now how you're feeling and what this means to you? Um, no, not really. Um, it's fairly indescribable, obviously. There's an awful lot of... Uh, an awful lot of endeavour, an awful lot of heart's gone into this place to, to get us to where we are and uh, obviously this is, a, this is a hammer blow for us all, uh, it's very difficult to take but um, what's most important for me as an individual, for us as a team and, and, and my friends in the changing room is how we deal with this and um, we'll learn more probably now than we'd ever learn in, uh, you know, in, uh, than, we'd, than we'd ever learn in any other way I think, you know, it's when you're at your, uh, your lowest and, and things are the most difficult that you, that you find out the most about yourself and uh, I have absolutely no doubt the type of people in that room they'll deal with this the right way and we'll be back. Do you look at the example of Northampton and Quinns and people and, and see how they come back stronger and take something from that even at this stage? Um, yeah, of course. Um, it, you do. It's very difficult to look past what's just happened right now, obviously, um, because it is very emotional and so much has gone into it. Um, but um, like I said, I, you know, I think what we've got to do now is make sure that we respond the right way, make sure we deal with this the right way, we're able to take every positive that we can out of it. Um, we reflect upon ourselves, look at our mistakes, and that we, that we are better for this experience. Because um, if it, 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 it could be uh, an incredibly valuable experience for us to move forward if we, if we deal with it the right way. Um, you know, I think Greg said after the game, when we sat down, he said, this, does, this shows just how ruthless this is. You know, we're a good side, we're, we've got huge team spirit, we've got huge endeavour, but it's an incredibly ruthless league, and, and you know, that's the one big lesson we've got to learn. It comes down to those small margins. I mean, a couple of years ago, Musty could have been relegated, for example, if Lockie Crichton had kissed, kicked the goal for Newcastle, you know, and um, you know, the gods were with, with Worcester um, on that occasion. I don't think the gods have been with us this season um, in those tight games, you know, and uh, for whatever reason, we've just not nailed them down. Uh, we've been there, there about some number of occasions and just not got across the finishing line. It happened again today. How do you think this will impact on your future, Mike? Who knows? Um, I'll have a chat with the chairman, of course, and uh, have a chat to him, see what he thinks uh, about the future. But you know, today is just you know a day to reflect upon another game has just slipped away. Really, uh, as Pat said, the boys have been putting the effort in all season. I can't fault the, the effort really, and um, you know, in terms of trading punches week in week out, um, it's probably the most competitive we've been. Certainly, my three seasons at the club, um, but you know we haven't put the W's on the board, and uh, obviously today we paid the price. Mike, you've got another season left on your contract. Can you can you see a scenario where you would resign? <laughs> um, Brian, as I said, we just had a, a major disappointment. It's not things like that I want to talk about, and if I do talk about them, maybe the things I talk to Chairman about first.